Welcome to the video tutorial of how to create an assignment in Google Classroom. The first type of assignment we're going to be talking about is a Google Docs assignment. To create an assignment, you click on the class that you'd like to create your assignment in. Then you're going to click on this plus in the lower right hand corner. You'll find create an assignment, which looks like a little clipboard. The next thing you need to do after you click on that pulls up this form for you to fill out about your assignment. When you're creating your assignments, um, I suggest that you give them numbers so that it will help organize you in Google Drive and help your students keep organized. Um, since this is our first assignment in our class, I'm going to go 001. We'll call it Introduce Self Description. Okay, um, so I've got my title and then I've got what you're going to do, select a due date. You can turn off the due date in time if you don't care, or you can turn it back on. I'll make it due on the 30th. The time, if you want to put a time in, you can select from these or by clicking over here you can change the time. And then save. If you'd like to add it to multiple classes, by clicking on this drop down arrow, you can check all of the classes that you'd like to add it to. Um, and then we want to attach something for the students to fill out. So they're going to do this assignment on Google Docs. I'm going to switch over my web browser to my drive. To get to drive, in a new tab, you can go to Google. And then you should see the nine boxes. They might be over here on the left as well. If you click on the nine boxes, you'll go to drive, which is the triangle. If you already have these files that you want the student to do, you can drag and drop them in here. I'm going to create a new Google Docs. The title of my Google Docs is going to be introduce yourself assignment. When you title these in Google Docs as well, it's advisable that you put that number in there that you used in your classroom. So my classroom is 001 introduce yourself. So I'm going to make this 001 introduce yourself. From here you'll put in your questions. So now I've created my assignment in Google Drive. This will automatically save for you and be in Google Drive. So I can see it right here in Google Drive. So I'm going to exit out of my assignment. I'm also going to exit out of Google Drive because I've already created my assignment and I know it's in there. From my class, I want to add a document from Google Drive. So I click on the triangle. I see 001 introduce yourself. I'm going to add that. And then here's um, where you have some options. You can do students can view file, which will mean that they can only view the file. Students can edit the file, which means every single student is editing the same document, or you will make a copy for each student. I'm going to make a copy for each student. I'm also going to not put it to my other class. Um, so now I have this introduce yourself assignment being made for each student in my class. If you don't want to assign it and you want to save it as a draft you're planning over the weekend, if you hit exit, your work will still be up here in drafts. If you're ready to assign it, you just click on the blue assign, assign. And it will show up on your student's news feed. I'm going to switch over to my student now in my class. So this is little lamb chop.
refreshing, he now has this assignment. By clicking on the assignment, it will tell him what he needs to do. So you'll answer questions about yourself in a Google Doc. He can click on the Google Doc and type right into here. And answer all of these things. Then at the top and the right, there's a turn in button. If he clicks turn in, are you sure you want to turn in your work? Yes, I want to turn in my work. Done. Back in Teacher Google Classroom, I can see that one assignment is now done. And it will take me to Lamb Chop's assignment where I can click on it and see his work.